Bobby Wine is a paper tiger says the spokesperson of President Museveni's government, Ofwano Apondo. Uganda government spokesperson Mr. Ofwano Apondo has come mock the NUP boss saying that he is just a mere paper tiger who cannot threaten the NRM nor its existence. Apondo was responding to queries relating to the planned up agenda to disrupt President Museveni's swearing in on 12 May. He said that whatever Bobby Wine and his disciples are planning, they have no capacity to disrupt the swearing in ceremony because the people of Uganda are tired of their stupid games. No one should lie to you that Kyagulanyi can do anything to stop Museveni's swearing in. He is just too weak and a mere paper tiger. There is no one he can scare here. After losing the election, he is now trying to find relevance a Pondo. President Museveni is expected to swear in for the sixth term come May 12th to extend his stay in power to 40 years. Please do. do you, could you give me a minute? I am happy to. I am actually happy. You will come, uh, senior that presidential is. advisor. Come, see. you're on fire today. <laughs> Take some yoga let, let, and come down. Joe, let, 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 uh, Oh, finish. Yes. No, he was saying that we should respond, and yes. I'm happy to. He was giving it as a point of order, so let him finish. But the, the other thing, of course, yes, the media cannot pick everything mm. that NRM resolve, cannot pick what, the president, what, what the president is saying. You have misrepresented what the president talked about in respect to frugality of parliament. The president talked about prioritization of government. Parliament is part of government. The executive is part of government. The judiciary is part of government. Now, if we throw around blame games, we shall miss the ball, in my view. No, we want to identify, diagnose the where ball. the problem is. The I, I'm not aware of any. Let me just take it, uh, about, um, Joel. I am not aware of any budget of government that is not appropriated by parliament. I'm not aware. Including the classified excellent budget. But yeah, so government which sets it, what is it for justifying? It goes to parliament and asks for money and says we want so much for classified. If that parliament had a head, a thinking head, it should be the one to say, Mr. Executive, we are not giving you 3.8 because you are unable to justify. But your majority, you take them to Chalwa and, and, and some people say you remove the head. You are saying if they had the head. Maybe so it is a problem according to all of you. Thinking head. I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm saying. You are a real obsessed with the head. Thinking. I haven't talked about a right honourable speaker. I'm talking about. I will do the head. When that Chalwa is going to tell him. Send you off to know that Parliament a while back made provision or oh, procedure can I, can I, can I how, finish, how to examine how to examine classified expenditure. If you think that that committee that Parliament put in place to examine classified expenditure, now we are going to be a member of Parliament, make make make, 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 make proposal how to strengthen it to ensure that that committee actually does proper auditing of classified expenditure. But classified expenditure is audited by parliament, it is examined by parliament, it is audited by, by, by an officer, by an officer of parliament who is the auditor general. They don't have details so, of what that classified money does. So, but who, who, so, so, and you know the truth or who, so, not to lie so, to so, people listening to us. So, 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 you are saying parliament doesn't think, if you are saying they simply Get and say we have given. Oh, oh. Seven, you eight, one, the thinking uh, parliament. He said, send me the Nigerian guns as long as they wake up to vote. Can I, can you have, you want to tell? I can have, Just one second. I can help. Oh, no, what do you want to oh, tell? Oh, oh. I wanted the stay of Fano Pondo. Yes. The law does not allow parliament to write the budget. He actually can only revise. But you can reject. The entire should not reject the entire budget. It will be brought back. If you have heads, I, you I have just your microphone on. So, <laughs> so the law allows you to make a revision. I'm not sure whether it is up to 3 or 6 percent. So when you bring a budget of uh, 3.6 trillion for classified, and the law allows you to revise up to a certain percentage, you simply cannot change it. You're looking at the one who prepares the budget to bring it 
with the protection of what, the law. What is this mean? What do you want to tell? 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 I have your microphone. You, you, you are the, the lower version of Ken <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine that's a compliment. <laughs> right moment, I thought we needed it. Yeah, you see, yes, the rules provide for a committee of parliament uh, to look into a classified expenditure. It, it has a few members, uh, three members. Uh, I think what we needed, and the OO could be right on this, is how do we strengthen it? Uh,